a very warm good evening to everyone to yet another beautiful session of Bonito Discover. I am your host Ravi Kethkar and that's Manpreet Kashyap, our interior design expert, who will be presenting on the topic of design styles today. Manpreet has been in the architecture industry for seven years. She has worked on projects such as Circuit House and Collector's Office. Contemporary, modern luxury and rustic designs are her expertise. Manpreet, I request you to kindly take the session forward. Defining your style is very important when it comes to design any spaces. When it comes to minimalism, it's all about stripping back the unnecessary, leaving only the things that provide you with real value and joy. This picture is an example. If you want to introduce some color, be sure to add solid pigments that are easy on the eyes and fuses well with the neutrals, such as earth tone browns, blues, tans and greens. Scandinavian decor style captures the balance between comfort and minimalism. This resonates with a philosophy that, it, that is called as Huga. Basically, it means the environment that encourages the feeling of warmth, contentment and coziness, which you usually get when you're comfortable at your own house. Japanese minimalism is a concept that focuses on keeping life simple, clean, uncluttered by living with just the essentials. It is inspired by the aesthetics of Japan traditional, which is Zen Buddhism and can be seen in many different facets of everyday life form and Wabi Sabi, which refers to the beauty of imperfection. The key word here is not perfection, but acceptance without any alteration, a concept that is gaining a lot of popularity nowadays. Even you can see the kind of furnishings that they use. It's all about low grounded furnitures. Japandi is a fusion between the timeless elegance of Japanese aesthetics and modern Scandinavian design. They share a very deep core design principle. Those are mainly appreciation for functionality and simplicity and also profound respect for nature and craftsmanship. Now, if you want to add a little more color to the whole space, what you can do is you can create a transparency between the outdoor and the indoor. Thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. 